Hey everybody, Christian here with Stripmeister. Just gonna do a quick video for you guys on how to properly set up your E350. This is one of my favorite machines. It will tackle any of the most common scrap that you can find. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, gonna start out with some 10 gauge here. The first step is always to take a small piece of wire just to set your machine up. You can start with a longer one, but it's always better just to start with a small piece. So you select your hole, you always want to pick the smallest hole that has no resistance. Place your cable in and touch your knife off. Touching your knife off just gets your knife in the right position and allows you to set your wire guide correctly. The wire guide is extremely important. This is what holds tension on the cable and prevents the wire from slipping out of the track. So to set your, your wire guide, what you want to do is put the cable in and have it going in at a 15 degree angle and then put a little bit of pressure on top to hold that tension. And then we tighten it down. The last step is to get your knife set correctly. So what I do is run the machine slowly and bring the knife down until you start to see copper. There we go, now I can crank it up to full speed and we can start stripping. So just to do a little demonstration, I'm gonna kink this cable up a little bit and you'll see just how badly kinked you can have your cables while you're stripping. Other machines, this would totally jam up. But with the Stripmeister, it will pull it through, straighten it out, and you'll still be able to strip your cables without any interruptions. Look at that. All right, guys, we got 20 gauge cable here. We don't recommend doing 20 gauge. We only advertise down to 18, but I wanted to show off and show you guys that it is possible to do small cables. So the first step is the same. We just take a small clipping and find the smallest hole. From there, we touch our knife off and go to our wire guide. Now with really small cables, it's possible to push the wire guide down far enough that you just distort the cable completely, which is not good. So the same rule applies. You wanna have that 15 degree going in, a little bit of pressure on top and tighten it down. The last step, like before, is to set our wire, our, our knife height. So I just run the machine slowly and bring the knife down until you start to see copper. Now we can start to strip. Turn the machine up. All right, now when you're stripping cables that are really small, one of the hardest parts is to actually get the copper out of the casing. So what I like to do is strip it as if I was gonna terminate it. And what that does is gives this little tag end that you can then grab and pull out the, the copper. So just like that guys, 20 gauge cable. All right guys, we're on to the big stuff, 350 MCM. This is the largest cable that the E350 can handle. So we're gonna do a demo on this. So you've seen a bunch of examples. So on this run, I'm just gonna go at full speed so that you guys can see just how fast you can set this machine up once you're comfortable with the process. Everything is the exact same. We find the correct size hole. We touch our knife off. We set our wire guide. We run the machine slowly and bring our knife down until we start to see copper. And then we're good to go. So now we can just start stripping. And just like that, we stripped 350 MCM cable. And that, my friends, is how you make a lot of money stripping cable. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys liked our video on how to use the E350. I've used this machine a lot, and from my experience, it's always worth taking the time to follow these steps to set your machine up correctly. If you don't, you could end up with some issues, you know, your cable's falling apart, your wire not following the track. So if you take the time, set your machine up properly, you'll always have success. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as we say, happy stripping.